Hello, Velvet. Yes? I need your help. to encourage those of you who are really struggling who's having that is having it hard to fight that temptation and that urge to eat to eat the wrong foods okay you've been locked in the house for so long and now we have access to so much although we had access even while we were locked in the house because we have all of these food delivery services that just bring it straight to you but you guys, listen, your girl is going through it as well, all right? I've been eating the wrong foods. If you didn't check my last video out, check that video out. And because of that, I've also gained some quarantine weight. Now, those of you who've been rocking with me for a while know that your girl just do not like to exercise, but this is something that is now a life or death situation because we have to take better care. We are accountable for our own selves. No one else is. And whatever moves that we make, we have to be accountable for that. I just got the saddest news yesterday that a buddy of mine, who I've known for so many years, and who I was trying to call the other day because I've just started my hobby back up with fish keeping. So now I have a few aquariums in my home and it's just so relaxing and soothing. But he's also into fish and I know he would order online sometimes. So I was just trying to touch bases with him to find out what vendors did he go to to order fish. And I just never got a response back. I texted him several times and um, tried to call his phone would go straight to voicemail but it wasn't until yesterday that I got a text and it was from his daughter and she mentioned that he had passed and he had passed like May, May something which really 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 shook my world because you know he was a good dude he had bad eating habits and he, he died of a heart attack come to find out he had a lot of other medical problems going on with high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, some sort of sclerosis, I guess of the arteries. I mean, he was going through it. And according to his daughter, he was on a whole lot of medications. Medic I mean, he had things that they didn't even know about. And they found out about that after he passed. So that really disturbed my spirit because I just came from the doctor yesterday for a follow-up visit to get my blood work results and everything and um, everything as well. No diabetes. My, my pressure was a little up there, um, but I think that was based on things that I ate that right before I went there. Um, my cholesterol was a little high, not much, she said. And I think that was based on something that I had, you know, earlier. But that really, 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 really shook me because it really got me into realizing that, no, we got to do better. You know, I got to do better. And I'm a person that I know better and I've done better, but I've slacked. And because I've slacked, I've allowed these things to happen. And it's time for me to get back on track. But at the same time, it's just disturbing to know that this gentleman was younger than me. And his birthday was the following month in June. And he didn't even get to see his 54th birthday. And, you know, I tell you, you guys, 
For those of you who are struggling with your weight, who's struggling in your body with diabetes and other illnesses, you really got to focus and stay mindful because we are one stroke, one heart, one heart attack away from being in the grave ourselves. And obesity is not healthy, you know. Our body is not meant to hold but so much. And when it's overloaded with weight, it also puts a strain on everything in our in our nervous system. So we really have to struggle and push ourselves to get on that track, to really get back on track with our weight goals, with our weight loss, with eating properly, with exercising. One thing I've realized with this quarantine and really not being able to move, even though I don't like to exercise, but being that now I'm a full-time YouTuber, and I'm home most of the time and I'm not moving a lot. I've been feeling a lot of stiffness in my legs. Yeah. Meaning that it's not a lot of blood circulation. I'm not stretching my joints, my, my um, limbs, my muscles. And because of that, it's tightening. And it's feeling really like stiff. So it's really important you guys to drink lots of water something that I hated to do but I've been pushing myself more now than before because of this whole situation and something that I've never even had the doctor told me I was a little my vitamin D was a little low I've never had issues with that but being in the house and not getting that sunlight that will lower your your, your vitamin D so I plan on being out more doing more in the sun getting more you know fresh air instead of staying cooked up in the house because basically i'm a homebody anyways but i never had an issue with my vitamin d and for those of you who have also been in the house you know first of all i suggest that everyone get a medical checkup just to be on the safe side and know what it is you're dealing with the last thing you want is to have any type of major symptoms from vitamin D. I've known someone who have had a problem with vitamin D where he had to take lots of medication. Well, not a lot, but a high dosage. Okay. But um, the doctor put me on the very lowest amount. He says there's nothing really to be alarmed of. It's just that he saw that it's a little low. So, yeah. Um... You know, he said there's nothing to really be alarmed of, but being that it's showing that I'm a little low, he made sure and um, gave me some mild, mild dosage of that. But, you know, I realized that when I was just chilling, okay, just not giving a care and just chilling, that I caused myself to fall short. And with the whole quarantine which we really had no choice in a way, although I still came and went, but I wasn't out and about like I normally would in the sunlight, getting my vitamin D, being outside, and because of that, it's lacking. So get yourself a checkup, y'all, just to know what it is you're dealing with and what you're facing with, and um, you know to, to know what your stress levels are, to know if your pressure is high or low, um, just anything because it really bothered me and it's it, it's really bothering me now I spoke with his daughter and she was just torn up completely still going through it you know with the loss of her father and it, it was really a sad situation because wow I never expected to get that call and to even get that kind of news about somebody that I knew that I was close with and it just really opened my eyes to really look at myself and take better care of my own self and not to sit and think that you know oh well you know you're eating well you're doing good and not know because I mean you know I slack going to the doctor 
but when going it just opened my eyes that I got to be more on point with a lot of things my health is one of them and um, my weight loss definitely you know gaining um, extra weight with these fat these past few months of being home which a lot of us have um, and I really give Props to those of you who stayed focused on your routines when you were in fitness and working out constantly. And when the gyms closed, you didn't let that stop you. You were outside jogging. You were in the parks working out, you know, training, doing whatever was necessary to stay focused and stay healthy. But we really have to stay mindful. So those of you who are really going through it and struggling in your body, struggling with your weight loss, not knowing how to get that weight down. I have plenty of videos, plenty of videos that will help you. And also one key ingredient that I always have in the house, and I'm getting ready to pick up a few more bottles, is my Bragg's apple cider vinegar. I know what that can do. I know what it has done and helped um, you know, someone before, whereas that person was on high blood pressure medications, was also on diabetes medications, and had bad eating practice. And after being on that and being diligent and consistent, he was healed. He was healed from high blood pressure, he was healed from diabetes, and I know what Bragg's do, so it also is awesome for getting that weight off because I lost 50 pounds, and I then on my second time around lost, you know, that's my go-to, my staple. Besides the parsley tea, that's another staple that I use, plus my green teas and lemon waters. I have so many wonderful teas that you don't have to get bored drinking the same tea every day. You know, some of you... Um, not some of you, but I've gotten some trolls that would always make a mention about, oh my God, all these teas, all these teas. You know, yeah, all these teas because we're people, we're fickle. And sometimes you may get tired of drinking one tea all the time. So I gave you a whole smorgasbord of different teas that you can take to lose weight that you will not get bored. Plus, I got more recipes coming. Now, I know the videos haven't been coming like before you know but I have been kind of taking a break because I've been grinding and, and grinding and grinding as you can see with all the videos that I do have out for teas and being that now I have more time for family that's basically what we've been doing what I've been doing so the tea videos and the, the weight loss videos are coming so just know that you know time is here time is here and pretty soon the summer's over. And for me, that's like the best time to start a weight loss journey. In the fall, <laughs> these bugs. In the fall and in the um, winter. Because you're clothed, um, you're indoors, and um, you know, you can really focus on getting your body right before the summer session comes and you have less clothes on. So, yeah, you know, I just wanted to come back and touch bases with you all. I know some of you are like, where is she? What's going on? Your girl's here. I'm still living. I'm still doing good, you know. But it just really shook me yesterday when I got the bad news about my friend. And to know that he was younger than me and he's no longer here. And I know he was struggling with his weight. I know he was struggling. I did, I did not know he was struggling with a lot of other things. Um, I know he had bad eating practices. I mean, bad. Really bad. So, And plus, he was um, always loud and, and got angry easy. Stress can really cause you to have heart failure. You can get a heart attack just being stressed out. And then if you're not eating properly and, and wow, it's really sad. But it really shook me yesterday to really open my eyes even more and to stay more mindful of my own health journey and the things that I choose to eat. 
So you guys, listen, your girl here is going to be strictly on broiled foods, whether it be broiled fish, broiled um, chicken, shrimps, because that's basically what I eat all the time. I'm not much of a meat eater. Um, not a big meat eater. I would eat some ground beef from time to time, but my diet mostly consists of fish, chicken, and shrimp. And my family's tied of shrimp, they tied of fish, they tied of chicken, <laughs> but tough cookies, tough cookies. We're gonna be eating more steamed vegetables, steamed cabbage. I'm gonna have to really do it up, but I got videos coming out. For those of you who've been asking me what foods to eat, it's so simple. It is so simple, but just so that you know, just for those of you who have forgotten, I'm going to show you. Now, I know those videos don't really get a lot of views. You know, it's sad that meal videos, unless it's meal prep videos, if it's somebody that's been on a weight loss journey and, you know, you're documenting your everyday movements on your foods, those videos get a lot of views. But when I put out these videos stating, you know, showing you healthy meals that you can have. <sighs> but I'll sacrifice it for you guys. If I have to do more videos on what I ate in a day, because I am back on a weight loss journey, I want to lose at least 20 pounds. I don't want to go down too much because I am short. But 20 pounds, I think, would be more comfortable for me. Yeah. Yeah. So y'all, I will have videos on what I ate in the day. Just know that it's gonna be lots of steam foods, lots of um, broiled foods. Um, if it's gonna be fried, it's gonna be more oven baked fried, um, which is healthier, which is very healthy, you guys. So just expect those videos coming, okay? Plus a lot of smoothie videos that's really good for the holding you down keeping you full you know keeping you full longer holding you down until your next meal all right and also as a meal replacement so yeah i'm just really sad i'm 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 really sad i did not expect that news yesterday but you know for the most part you guys more videos coming your way, okay? And I'll see you then. Welcome family, this is the Velvelox coming back to you again with a powerful full announcement. Now, if some of you haven't visited my eBay store, you are definitely living under a rock because you are missing out on this organic fit and flat belly detox and energizer tonic. This tonic has been flying off the shelves. I've had to restock my inventory several times. This is powerful. I've used it myself. I'm still currently using it. And like I said, it works, okay? This tonic is gonna help you to lose those inches. It's gonna make you feel better. It's gonna clean your blood, burn that body fat. It's gonna flatten your tummy and remove that waste out of your body. This is also gonna boost your metabolism. For those of you who are suffering from slow metabolism and cannot get that weight off, try this tonic. It's going to boost you up going to detox and energize you and it's also going to strengthen your colon because it's going to be squeaky clean all right check down below in this video description for the links to my personal ebay store where you will get the 16 ounce bottle of this powerful detox that specializes in removing waste out of your body and slimming you down so if those of you who are really serious about your weight loss journey and need that extra boost this is going to help you along with all the other wonderful teas and detoxes and smoothies I've been showing you throughout the year, all right? So go ahead, shop, check your girl out. I'm telling you, it's been flying off the shelves. This is my fourth time restocking this item and I got plenty for everybody. So like I said again, y'all, check down below in this video for my eBay link for my personal store where you will get the 16 ounce bottle of this firm and flat belly and it's all organic natural 100% all right so I will see you down below 
Now, if you are living under a rock and have not already been visiting or purchasing from my personal eBay store, then I don't know what else to tell you because you are definitely losing out with these wonderful herbal honeys that help men and women in the bedroom. Well, I have some awesome honeys that will boost your body up, that's great for the libido, that's great for the testosterone, that's great to strengthen your stamina, change the mood, increase the sperm count, it helps with that powerful stamina, that uh, stand tall longevity. So check out my eBay store for these herbal honeys that's gonna help you in the bedroom and along with your play play, all right? This is great for both men and women and it comes with so many wonderful benefits. Check down below in my eBay store and when you check out the item, check in the description where it will tell you so much about the item, what you should expect from it, okay? You're not going to see these things on YouTube. You're not going to see anybody else promoting this. This is original and it's only seen on this channel, okay? So like I said, visit down below in my eBay store. The links will be down in the description box of this video and you will be able to have access to all of these awesome items in my store, all right? So until the next time you guys, have fun, okay? And I will see you in the next video.